Hello brothers and sisters, the UK police have arrested a British journalist for posting malinformation about Ukraine and Justin Trudeau under the Online Safety Act. Now we covered this when they started pushing this through the house and they made it law. We know Canada's working on a similar law and essentially this is going to become the law across the world under the beast system where what you post can get you locked up or punished in a really big way if it goes against anything that the elites are saying should be happening. In a story that has received virtually zero global media, UK police arrested an independent journalist for posting malinformation and misinformation about Ukraine. Under the new UK censorship law called the Online Safety Act, the government can order the arrest or detention of anyone said to be hateful or judged by fact checkers to be posting misinformation. So if I was in the UK, they could come and pick me up while I'm busy uploading news articles. Interesting. Warren Thornton was literally in the midst of streaming an edition of his podcast, The Real Truth, on September the 24th, when Bristol police officers came to his front door and demanded to speak with him. Thornton is a critic of NATO's escalation of the war in Ukraine and has posted several videos about Ukrainian attacks on Russian civilians and the secret existence of biolabs in Ukraine. He was also quick to report how a former Waffen SS Nazi soldier was allowed to sit in the Canadian House of Commons gallery during a speech by Zelensky. We covered that too. Yaroslav Hunka acknowledged plaudits from former House Speaker Anthony Rota and waved as all members of Parliament rose from their seats and gave the 98-year-old SS veteran a standing ovation. At the police station, Thornton said the officers became flustered during his interrogation because they were unable to say exactly what video post led to his arrest. Thornton soon had his lawyer on scene who ripped them to bits. He added his lawyer told them to charge him or release him. Thornton, after spending a night in jail, was released on the Monday. Police have decided not to charge him. Now this should concern those who are remaining behind who are going to wake up and suddenly need to speak out in the absence of all our voices on these channels because they're going to clamp down really hard. And what I want to highlight here is just this one little statement. He was released after spending a night in jail. That's all they have to do in most countries, especially third world countries. Here in South Africa specifically too, where jails are massively over full and it is horrific inside. All they've got to do is arrest you and lock you up. You just need one night in jail. The things that will happen to you in that jail is horrific. That's all they want. They want you in there with that population and brought down and attacked and who knows what. And they'll use this law to do exactly that. So we're seeing it in action. We're seeing them practicing it and testing it and deploying officers to do what they need to do. We'll see Canada roll out exactly the same thing and get it running. And the rest of the world, watch me and watch my words, will follow suit because this is a good law for the beast system that's coming. God bless and we're grateful that through the blood of Jesus Christ we don't have to live under the beast system. Shalom.